hi welcome to this excel and power bi tutorial david is my name in this video i'm going to show us what i call sim solution but different operations therefore let's dive in in excel we have this sys data which is officially stored as an excel table and we have meaningful data as the table name so what we want to do essentially is to in columns k l m calculate the count of units sold for each of these unique brand the total sales the average sales so we're going to do this in excel and we we'll switch over to the power bi and do the same operation so let's start now we have this unique brand and let's use our count if function here or we can even use the count ifs so equal sign count ifs okay now the count ifs requires the criteria range now in this case our criteria range is the many side of the brand in column d comma and for the criteria one we want the unique in cell j2 however i can actually give the entire range so we have this pound sign or the arch sign and that's all close the count ifs control enter and we have the total count for each of the unique brand now let's do the same thing for the total sales so equal sign in this case we're going to use the sum ifs function now the sum ifs requires the sum range so we're going to give the many side of the sales amount in column h comma and for the criteria range one we give the many side of the brand in column d comma and for criteria one we give the entire range close parenthesis control enter also and let's finish up with the average ifs function equal sign average ifs okay same thing we need to give the many side for the sales amount comma criteria range one the brand many side comma and we're going to give the entire range for the unique brand close the average ifs control enter and let's apply currency in our original settings so i'm going to select this Control shift 4 to apply dollar signs then we get rid of the decimals now let me just move my camtasia pointer okay all right so we have the count total sales and the average for each of this unique brand now let's switch over to the power bi and achieve the same solution but in a different operation so i'm going to come to power bi now we have the same data sets loaded in our data model now i need to create what i call a new table so if you look at this calculation group we have new table so i'm going to click on that new table and i'm going to call this one sales report now equals sign. so in this case i'm going to use the summarize dax function now the summarize dax function is one of the most useful function in power bi so let's press the tab key it's just like group your data by giving the name of the table so the first argument is the name of the table now in this case the name of the table is data so i'm just going to type in data of the table name comma next we have the group by column name one now in this case i actually want to group by what in excel we grouped by brand column so in this case i'm going to just type in brand as the group by comma now the first thing we need is we need the total number of units so we want to count so in this case for the column name two i'm going to put that inside double quotation and type in the count and that's going to be the name of the column comma now for the expression i'm going to throw in the count function now the count function requires the column name now in this case we want the unit so i'm going to type in unit column and then we can close off the count now let's indent our data our dax formula so that it can be more readable so I'm going to come after this equal sign and hold down my alt key and click enter and I'm going to do the same thing for here alt enter 
Okay. Now, let's continue. Comma. So, again, we also need another name. In this case, I'm going to put inside double quotes, total sales, close to double quotes, comma. And for the expression 2, I'm going to use the sum aggregate function. Now, in this case, we want to sum the sales amount column. So, I'm going to type in sales amount. Then we can close the sum aggregates. Now, let's continue to indent our DAX formula. Alt, enter. So, comma. Finally, we need the name three. In this case, the name three is going to be the average inside double quote. Average sales. Close the double quote. Comma. And for the expression three, I'm going to throw in the average DAX function. And of course, we want to average the sales amount okay so we can close off the average now let's indent this finally alt enter and then we can close off the summarize dax formula and this is all we need to do all things being equal we can do enter and let's see the final result absolutely cool so we have the final result which is exactly what we achieved in Microsoft Excel. Now let's quickly take um, Rolls Royce as an example. You can see that the count, the total unit for the Rolls Royce is 659 units. And let's come to the power BI and let's check the Rolls Royce. You can see 659 units. And let's check one more. Let's check the total sales. The total sales is one. 20 million three seventy eight thousand one one zero and when you come to the power bi you discover that we have the same thing rose race one okay let's quickly apply in currency here so that it can be more readable okay you can see that we have one twenty million three seven eight one one zero which is exactly what we achieved in in microsoft excel so this is essentially how you can perform different operations across different technologies and achieve the same outcome. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share, and consider subscribing if you have not done so. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.